Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day, oh, I guess day one of the um, October Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. And yeah, let's get this started. We have a, I don't know if you could see it here because I think my face is blocking it. We have a 913 day streak, so we'll be doing this all month, probably. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe you get to witness the end of the streak. Who knows? Anyway, today's prom is. 91 decode rays message contains a to z number of mappings and then just to count right huh interesting because now it's a medium i feel like when when i first learned this it, it was probably like a hard type thing but uh yeah i don't know anyway so uh there come with the number of ways to do it um Given the end is equal to 100, you could probably even be very lazy. But the way that I'm going to do it is going to be doing it top down recur recursively. Um, and yeah, that, I think that's the way I'm going to do it. And let's go, right? So n is equal to length of s. Uh, oops. I locked my computer by accident. One button. I thought I enabled that button. Hmm. Maybe I pressed something else. Okay. Um, Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, just count uh, Maybe index right so then now we're getting the suffix if index is equal to n we return 1 Otherwise if index is greater than n we return 0 this means that if we go over something like that Then we don't count. Okay other than that then if s of index is equal to um, Oh, it's from 1 to 26. So there's no zeros, right? So we have to do some maths here or like not math, but we have to just be exhaustive. I think that's basically the way that we think about it. It's just literally enumerate every case, right? So basically, if this is equal to one, what does that mean? Or if this is equal to zero, what does this mean, right? We turn zero. I think that's pretty much it, right? There's no, uh, I don't think there's any mappings there. And if index is equal to one, then what happens? Well, we can we we can. Uh, let's just have a total here. Maybe we'll write it differently. We'll see. But first of all, total is equal to count of index plus one, right? Because now this is an A, right? So this is just putting an A. And then now we go if S of index plus one. Um, and of course, we have to kind of. So now this is. Uh, what is it? Six. Right. Oh, no, no. Oh, for, um, I guess it doesn't matter that actually. I forgot that uh, for one, that, and you, don't, you know, this is basically always true. So then basically just saying if index plus one is greater than n, then total do, 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 count of index plus two, right? So basically um, just a double, uh, double digit number that starts with one, right? Okay. And then now let's do another one. Yes, if index is equal to two, right? What happens? Well, <clears throat> we index plus one again this is if this is a b i think right yeah and then if index plus one less than n n s of index plus one it has to be in this case now it has to be between um zero and six and of course it's always going to be bigger than or equal to zero so we could probably just remove this then now we add count of index plus two yeah I, I, in my mind, I keep on thinking about the wildcard variation, but there isn't one, right? So, so I'm, yeah. Okay, now else, in the other cases, that means that th this number is not 0, 1, or 2, so this is 3 to 9, and in get that case, we just added 2 index plus 1. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, as you can see here, there's really not, not much magic per se. I don't know if I'm describing today very well. I have a little bit of a sore throat, so my apologies of not talking too much. But yeah, this is going to be too slow, obviously, but at least it gets the inputs correct. I never know what to click to disappear this in the new UI. Still getting used to the new UI. <clears throat> so what is complexity here, right? Of course, there's some branching, so that means that it's going to get exponential unless we do something called memorization. And in here, you can memorize because for every... If you give the same input for this function, you'll always get the same out output. And in that world, 
that means that you can memorize. And yeah. Um, yeah. So then here now, well, what are the all the in that case? What is all the what are all the possible inputs of index, right? Well, index can be from zero to n or n plus one, I guess, if you really want to look at this. But maybe, yeah. Um, so what about the O of n? And in that case, we that means that there's O of n number of inputs, and each one will take O of one time. So this is going to be O of n times uh, per input together. And that's pretty much it, except for that we have to do the memorization. So the way that I do it, as you know, um, I'm going to actually change this a little bit. Um, just so that it's slightly easier to memorize. I mean, I know that this doesn't change anything. But yeah, now I'm going to do has cache is you go to um, force times n plus 1 maybe. Cache is you go to none times n or n plus 1 again. This autocomplete is still bugging me. Someone told me that I could click on this to turn it off. But as you can see, I have to. Uh, somehow subscribe to this to turn it off. Uh, let me know if there's a way that you think I can turn it off. Maybe they did it. I don't know if they did it by accident, but it'll be funny that you know you have to pay to remove autocomplete. But uh, yeah, I feel like they tried this in the past and I made the same comment. But oh well. Okay. Yeah. So then now all we have to do is the simple thing, right? If it has cache of index, then we return cache of index. Otherwise. Um, yeah, has cache of index is you go to true and cache of index is you go to total. And that's pretty much the idea, really. And of course, we should want a big case. Uh, I guess 100 is not. I mean, 100 is going to be big enough that, you know. 100 is going to be big enough to time out. So, yeah, this clearly going out of bounds is not intentional, but. Oh, and so should, I didn't I didn't realize that was one of the constraints actually, so I messed that up a little bit. But still, that means that, so that means that we can do how, how many like thirty something. How much is that? Uh, that's nine, ten. So yeah, <clears throat> I mean it's Fibonacci actually, but um. But yeah, uh, okay, that looks good enough, and this is relatively fast, so let's give it a submit. Again, the new UI is really weird. I actually like the old submission UI. But yeah, but today, <clears throat> we have a 914-day streak, get a little shiny coin. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Linear time, linear space. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. And if you're doing the contest tomorrow, or in my time, it's like 12 hours or something, but it is tomorrow. Then good luck. I'll probably do it, but we'll see. Anyway, bye-bye.